Five o'clock congestion leads to six o'clock frustrations, road rage hazards, and then fender bender situations. And that one guy who sits on his phone way too long at the green, yellow, red light again. This dude just sat on his phone through the entire light. Bah! Can I get a one, 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 two, two? Can I get a 200, 200? There, there. Can I get a three, 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 400, five, six, six, six? She was six, maybe even younger, but that's as far back as she can remember. She thought he was sick when he rubbed her. He made her feel sick when he rubbed her, dubbed her his baby cakes, but ain't nothing sweet about daddy no more. His eyes reached that crack boil stage and then one day she took her first hit from him. The blood from her top lip tasted sweeter than the lies he told her on that other day when he drove to the alley and said, I love you. Now get out and get into that van. But I don't know that man, daddy. He said it doesn't matter. His hands had the feel of cold, hard cash. He pushed me into the van and then he left. And I wondered, how much did he get? Did it even matter? See, nobody likes traffic. Doc, we're losing her. There's no pulse. There's no heartbeat. Doc, what are we going to do? What do we do with the, what do we do with the, the fetus? Doc. This is the third one this week. We must be racking up, Doc. Like, can I get a raise? Wait, wait, she didn't sign all of the papers. We can't use her organs. She didn't sign all of the papers. Wait, I'll do it. I'll sign her name. They'll never know. It's like two for one day, Doc. It's National Organ Trafficking Covered Up by Abortion Complications Day, Doc. They say nobody likes traffic. So they take side routes to get around it, leaving their lanes of influence, avoiding it, exiting stages, OTR with stuff pockets. Will somebody stop this? Trafficking is a multi-billion dollar industry. Listen, it has its own freaking industry. How blasphemous. How sick in the head it is to put a price on a head or on a lung or on a 12-year-old child in a red district bed. Nobody likes traffic. And sometimes we have to face it. Sometimes we have to forget our temporary inconveniences, get our feet off the freaking gas and go nowhere until the way is made clear for someone other than ourselves. Nobody likes traffic, but I can't help but facing it head on. Will you help face this thing head on?